O-Review. Hello, Dan from O-Review here, and I'm going to go over a few things that are new for November, October, and around that time frame. Not sure if I'm going to do this monthly, weekly, or as needed. Probably as needed, but I figure it would be worth a shot. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new Gearbox Automatic Watch. And this has been out for a while, or at least been announced for a while, and I was really interested in this until I saw the price, because it's about $1,900, pushing two grand, probably a little bit out of my price range, but uh, it does look interesting, and it is nice to have another automatic watch out there. The bezel is made out of bronze, so the more you use it, the more you touch it, it's slowly going to change over time and take on an appearance that's unique to whoever buys it. There's only going to be 300 produced, so it's going to be rather limited, and again, the price is $1,895. The next big thing to come out was the Airwave, and it's based on the recently released Airbrake goggle, but it has a third-party technology from Recon that gives it a heads-up display down in the bottom corner. So you can do things like have GPS, record your speeds, connect to an iPhone and use the app, control music, and it also has a switch lock technology so you can pop the lenses in and out. This retails for about $600, and it's already in the Apple iStore as well as some of the O stores around too. The final big announcement is the release of the holiday bundles. Unlike years past where we had the science fuel cells and the ice oil rigs, these are going to be a, several pairs of glasses with many lenses. And it's going to be cheaper than buying them all separately, but the price tag is somewhat high. The typical frame is going to be a matte carbon fiber, and that's going to come on the Half Jacket 2.0 XL, the Fast Jacket XL, the Radar Lock, and a Radar Edge. And the lenses are going to be VR28 Black Iridium, Positive Red Iridium, Black Iridium Polarized, and G30. The Half Jacket's going to retail for $395, the Fast Jacket for $430, and the Radars for $540 each. These are already in stores now, so you can go get them in time for the holidays. There are a few minor announcements, the first being a Frog Skin collaboration. Now there's tons of those nowadays, but this one's kind of cool because it comes with a t-shirt. It is a four-legged frog, and the collaboration is with A Ape, or A Bathing Ape. It is a Japanese release, and it retails for about 28,000 yen, and that should be out right now. The next 3D gas can was announced, which is going to be for the Hobbit movie, which is interesting because it's filmed on the red cameras, which is another Jim Jannard invention. A few more Infinite Heroes models came out, specifically a Half Jacket 2.0. This year's Achiro radar came out, which is going to be a blue camo with slate lenses. It has mismatching icons and mismatching ear stems, which is somewhat interesting. And this is going to be a Japanese release only, which will retail for 31,500 yen. The final two releases, which should hit sometime this month, are the Multicam M-Frame 3.0, as well as the Ballistic Goggle 2.0. These will be available only on the special issue site and not for general release, but they do look really cool. So that's it for this batch. Don't forget to visit O-Review for all of your news and community needs. Thank you. O-Review.